Neo. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. Hi there, and welcome to another Hard to Iron 4 quick modding tutorial on the Iron Workshop. In this tutorial, I will be explaining how to use scripted effects. So explaining scripted effects can be a little bit complicated, but I'm going to do this the best way I know how to, with a really stupid example. So just try and follow me. If we go back to the matrix scene, so let's imagine that Neo calls the operator and the operator says, Okay, so what do you need? And then Neo, instead of saying, Guns. guns. Lots of guns. Starts saying something like, Um, okay, so I need like, um, like pistols and maybe rifles. Um, do, do, do you have any. Uh, something explosive, um, you know, uh, just, yeah, maybe something that shoots. So that's the difference between using a scripted effect and not using a scripted effect. And now that I've completely lost you, let's go into the game and see exactly what this means. Now it's very important that you understand that in this tutorial I will not be showing you every possible way that you can use scripted effects. It is much more important for me that you understand the benefits of scripted effects and then you find what works for you in applying them. In order for us to see how scripted effects work, I'm going to create a small mod in the game. So I'll open my launcher. I'll go to mods, mod tools, create mod, and we'll just call it the guns, lots of guns mod. Excellent. I will just call it gameplay, guns, lots of guns, guns, uh, let's just call it lots guns. Okay, click create mod and our mod is created. Excellent. Now I'm just going to copy some files from the vanilla game where we can see how scripted effects work. So I'll open the vanilla game here. I'll open my mod folder in here. And from the vanilla game, I'm going to take the German focus tree. So we need common national focus. So let's create these folders. And as I said, I'm going to take the Germany focus tree. Excellent. And another folder that I'm going to create in common is scripted effects. Just like the one we have in here. Okay, scripted effects, just like that. And it's scripted faces. So let's just fix that, otherwise it will not work. Excellent. Okay, so now that we have uh, our folders ready, I'm just going to copy one of these files. It doesn't really matter which file, since I will just be completely changing this file. So let's just call it the many guns scripted effect. And of course, we have to leave the file extension. So let's just open this file and then just remove everything since we don't really need that. Excellent. So now that we have created our files, let's go ahead and create our first scripted effect. Okay, now what I've done here is that I've given some effects to my scripted effect, right? So when I run this scripted effect, all of these things will be executed. Now, what I'm going to do with this scripted effect, I'm going to add it to Germany's national focus tree, specifically the branch that's concerned with the Rhineland, right? So in here, I'm just going to remove all of this stuff 
and I'm going to put in my scripted effect. Now this is the way that you apply scripted effects in the game. Whenever you have a place where you, where you put effects, so for example it's completion reward, in effects it's in the option, and in decisions it's either in complete effect, or timeout effect, or cancel effect, all of these places where you use the effects, you can put scripted effects in. And the way that you apply them is that you type the ID of your scripted effect, right? So guns, lots of guns, just like here. Then you put equals and yes. That tells the game to run this effect. Now a very good thing about scripted effect is that they don't hog the game, right? So what I mean is that they're not always running in the background. They're only running when they're being called like this. So when I want to run a scripted effect, I need to tell the game, please run this scripted effect now. It will not run automatically all the time. Now, I just want to open the game in debug mode and show you how things will change as we apply changes to my scripted effect. If you are following this tutorial, make sure to enable the mod before you start the game. Right, so you should find it here in the mod manager. So turn it on, done, play. And of course, make sure that your game is in debug mode so that things update automatically as we change them and that you don't have to restart the game to see the changes. All right, so here we are in the game. And if we take a look at the Rhineland focus, you see that it gives me stability, political power and 200k of weapons of infantry equipment, just like we've added here in the scripted effect. Now, if I change the effect here, it will also update in the focus. So for example, if I change this to 500,000 and I save it, we can now see that we get 500k weapons. So scripted effects are great for situations where you have to execute a large amount of code, a lot of commands, and especially if you're executing these commands over and over again. So scripted effects save you the time of typing all of these commands again and again. But another very good benefit of scripted effects is that when you change the scripted effect, it will update in all of the places that are calling this scripted effect, right? So if I have, for example, not just one focus, but I have 50 focuses, that use the same scripted effect, I just need to make a change here in one place and all of these focuses will already have a different effect. Now, as I mentioned previously, scripted effects can be used also in events and decisions and the way that you call them, right? So this is calling a scripted effect is the same way. So you type the ID of your scripted effect equals yes. Now, before I finish this video, I do want to mention one more thing. You can actually call scripted effects from inside other scripted effects. So let's say that we have already a lot of guns and now I need lots of Kung Fu, right? And let's say that lots of Kung Fu has a different effect, gives me different things. What I can do here in guns, lots of guns, I can actually type the following. Lots of Kung Fu, yes. And now if I save the file and I actually take a look at my focus tree, you see that I gain base stability 10. So that's the first one in here. But then towards the end, I once again get more stability. It's this stability over here. Okay, so you can actually call scripted effects from other scripted effects. How you may use this, it's only left to your imagination and I'm sure that you will come up with ways to utilize this amazing function in the game. All right, so this is basically all that you need to know about scripted effects. Once you understand how they work and how powerful they are, that is when you will really start to use them. And I encourage you to experiment and try out these things and see how they can work for you and your mod, whatever it may be. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next lesson or tutorial on the Iron Workshop. Bye bye.
Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. The algorithm and me will be very happy. Here are more videos I make. If you like my stuff, consider subscribing to be notified when new content is available. The Iron Workshop lives and thrives thanks to the continued support of my Patreons. If you are willing and able, you can support me on Patreon for just one buck and get access to exclusive and early content. See you around.